have a friend this morning. What? Who's your big baby? Big baby. He gives me his paw if I stop petting him. But anyway, I knew a lot of you guys were going to ask Todd about neurofeedback. Um, and honestly, I really wanted to come on here and share about it because it's helped me so much. And I know that it can help benefit so many other people. Also, pay no attention to whatever's going on up here. Um, I am on a mission to not use Instagram filters anymore because I feel like they're damaging and it's even damaging for me to look at myself and see my face look different and then I look in the mirror and I don't look like that and I'm like, that's not good. So I am on a mission to never use filters again, but that's besides the point. So you're getting um, the full flingy hair, sweaty head um, Courtney from now on. So back to the neurofeedback, I'm gonna try to like narrow this down as quickly as I can. Um, I started it a few months ago and I originally went into it because I wanted a natural way to get rid of my anxiety disorders, my PTSD, depression, phobias, <laughs> your girl screwed up. Another big one was, um, mast cell reactions. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with mast cell activation syndrome. It's basically where you can literally eat a food and your body will do all sorts of different chaotic symptoms. Um, that was me for a long time and that had gotten a lot better, but I couldn't do any like detox therapies that I needed. I couldn't do even simple exercises would set my body off. It was just, my brain has been in fight or flight for such a long period of time due to things that's happened in my past that it got stuck in that mode of always needing to protect me and, and telling me that everything around me is dangerous at all times that simple things like a food would set me off and that is not good. So that's why I went into this. So what neurofeedback does is it guides your brain back to normalcy. So if your brain is operating in fight or flight, it's just not firing properly. And it does this via, you have like these little, I don't know what you want to call them. They're connected to a wire and it's like a little metal thing and you put it on certain parts of your head and it reads your brain waves and it compares that to literally um, the brain waves of thousands and thousands of people in your age range. And you're basically listening to music. And when your brain is doing what it's supposed to do, it plays the music louder. And when it's not, it's lower. So essentially your brain learns what's going on. And so it'll be like, oh, if I do this, the music plays. It's, it's like training a dog. <laughs> so you're not getting like any electrical things going to your brain. It's literally just reading what your brain is doing and giving you feedback on that sense, hence the name neurofeedback. Um, so I've been doing this for a while now. And in the beginning, my body was like, nope, we're not going in relaxation mode. Absolutely not. We can't do that. We have to be on alarm and on guard at all times. So my anxiety increased temporarily. Um, and then after I eased into it a little bit more gently, I noticed that I was able to go out places more. My agoraphobia wasn't so bad. My social anxiety wasn't so bad. Um, I was, I had my first giant thing of alcohol the other day, which was insane and I didn't react. I've noticed that I have more energy, my anxiety levels. Like the other day I was like, wow, I actually feel normal for once. And it was so amazing. So all of this was confirmed when I had my second brain map done. Um, I'm at 55% normalcy. So I have another 45% to go. Um, but I'm super, super excited. I've had anxiety my whole life. Ever since I came out the womb, I was anxious. And I've been told all my life, just calm down, relax. And I'm like, mm, gee, didn't think of that. I wanted to share this because I know so many people struggle with their mental health and they have since they were a kid and they don't know why they're so bad and they do everything that they can to try to get better and they just can't. And that was me and I'm on my way there and I want other people to get better too and not just band-aid it. Like there's nothing wrong with taking medications. I still take my Xanax, <laughs> um, but Eventually one day I'm hoping I don't have to take that anymore and I hope that I can actually go to a store without having a panic attack and a lot of people probably wouldn't know that about me by just looking at me because like I can be super social but it's like it sucks the life out of me like when people come over I love having company but I'm also inside panicking because, <laughs> because I have social anxiety really really bad and I don't think people you know it's usually the ones you least expect. But anyway, I'm not going to just blow up stories. Um, this is as short as I could possibly make it. But if you want to try neurofeedback, 
keep in mind it's a long process. Like you're not going to go and be like, boom, I'm better. Like I'm talking 40 to 200 sessions depending on how bad you are. Um, but you literally just Google neurofeedback in my area. And I use the program called New Mind. Clear Mind is a good one. I know people who have used um, NeuroOptimal that have had good results from it. Um, there's several different types. I'm not here to like sell you on a product. I'm just here to help hopefully help somebody. Also, I know people are going to freak out when they see how expensive it is because it is not covered by insurance, unfortunately. Um, and if people go, why isn't it covered by insurance? Well, think about it. If you stay anxious, you stay needing pills. You stay needing things. If you cure your anxiety, you don't need those anymore. And then the cha-ching and that's happened from people making that money no longer happens. So, hmm, I wonder. 